Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about outliers, and specifically about an outlier rule that has been very pervasive over the years, one that I learned when I was an undergraduate student uh, several years ago. Uh, and it's a rule that is uh, very potentially harmful to data analysis, uh, and also a rule that has no justification whatsoever from a statistical standpoint. And that's why I've entitled this uh, presentation, Identifying Outliers, Never Ever Do This, uh, Even If Your Supervisor Tells You To. Uh, and the rule that I'm talking about is the two standard deviations rule. And this rule states that values two standard deviations away from the mean are considered outliers. And uh, people uh, in the process of using this rule will remove observations in their data that correspond to two standard deviations or greater. So in Z-score, uh, on a Z-score scale, anything that's negative 2.0 or, or more negative than that and 2.0 and larger than that, they will remove from their data set. And then they'll redo the analysis uh, on the new trimmed down uh, sample size and look for outliers again. Uh, and sometimes uh, you will find more outliers doing this iterative process. Uh, and keep pruning uh, the sample size uh, and losing statistical power in the process. Now, uh, this rule of two standard deviations, anything greater or um, lesser than two standard deviations, negative two standard deviations, uh, in the sample uh, in the uh, distribution is not only unjustifiable it's harmful. Uh, unfortunately, it's actually very commonly applied. I would say that that's probably the rule that you would hear most frequently if you asked people, how do you identify an outlier in your data? Uh, and in this presentation, I'm not only going to say that it's an unjustifiable uh, rule, I'm also going to explain very clearly why it doesn't make any statistical sense. What I've done is I've generated data in a, with a program that can generate random data from a, randomly, uh, from a random normal distribution. And what I've done is I've generated these data based on a sample size of 100, and I've specified parameters such that the data have a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So these are basically z-scores, or they correspond to z-scores. And what the uh, program has done is it's uh, produced these data that look like a normal distribution, but uh, not surprising to me, it's uh, produced some observations that are uh, more than two standard deviations uh, below or above the mean. And on the left side of the distribution, we can see here that there's a value that's less than negative 2.0. I think for memory it was something like negative 2.25. And a person using the, neg the two standard deviation rule would say, oh, well, this looks like an outlier to me. I will remove it. Uh, similarly, on the other side of the distribution, on the other tail, the positive side, we can see that there are actually f about four. There it looks like four. If you look at the frequency scale here, three, we can see there are three observations between two and 2.5. We have another observation here that's about 2.5. So that looks like about four observations. And the two standard deviation rule would say, well, let's remove those. Now, I'll remind you, I generated these data to uh, approximate a normal distribution. So how could, it, uh, how could this program produce outliers when I specifically specified for no outliers? I just wanted a normal distribution normally with, normally, uh, with no, outli no outliers, just normally distributed data. Actually, before I show you exactly uh, the, the real crux of this, I'll show you that if you remove those observations that are putative outliers, uh, what you get is what I call an amputee normal distribution. So you eliminate anything greater than 2.0, and you eliminate anything uh, in absolute sense greater than 2.0 on the, on the left side as well. Uh, and what you get is something that doesn't look like a normal distribution to me. It's missing tails in the distribution, and that's what I call an amputee normal distribution when you remove outliers based on this rule. Now, the reason why this uh, rule does not make sense from a theoretical standpoint is that uh, the normal distribution, I've, I realize this is a very busy t uh, slide, and if you don't understand the normal distribution very well, uh, you might want to watch another video I have on this where I describe this uh, slide and this distribution, uh, what's called the normal distribution. And I'll guide your attention specifically to the tail of the normal distribution. And based on normal distribution theory,